Hey family. I hope all is well with many of you. I decided to check in. You know how I, I do, okay? I, I want to be more consistent, you know. Um, I haven't forgotten about many of you. I know that, you know, I still wait for quite some time. But in a way, that's good, okay? I don't like coming on here just to be coming on here, you know, saying a whole, whole lot of things, you know, um, I'm just being me, okay? And I feel the unction to come on here and speak. I will speak. Where are you today, family? And happy weekend to many of you. Where are you today? Now, you might say, well, what are you talking about? You know, Sister Corinth, where are you today? How are you feeling? If I would have walked up to many of you and I would say, how are you? What would you say to me? Be honest. Would many of you just be genuinely honest? Or would you speak from that program way of speaking? Oh, I'm just blessed and highly favored. I hear a lot of ch church folks talking like that. Hell, I used to talk like that. And there's nothing wrong with saying that you are blessed. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging that you are highly favored, okay? Because you are who you say you are. But real deep down inside, how are you? When many of you are going about your merry way, okay? You're out and about. You encounter people. People that you may have known, you know, a while back or whatever the case may be. So, how you doing? What are you going to say to them? Oh, I'm doing okay. That's what most people say. I'm doing okay. What about you? Oh, man, I'm doing wonderful. I'm just blessed, you know. I am noticed. I am, or I'm, I'm, you know, doing good, you know, uh, I got my bachelor degree, my so-so degree, and my other so-called degree. You know, they'll throw all of that up. And, of course, you're looking like, wow, that's wonderful. I'm happy for you. That's good, you know. But they still have not told you exactly how they're feeling. A lot of times they'll throw up their titles, okay. How you doing? <laughs> Man, I tell you, I'm a doctor. How you doing? I got my bachelor's degree. How you doing? I got my certification. I'm a nurse now. How you doing? Oh, I'm a doctor. Okay. I'm a this, I'm a that. I'm a this, I'm a that. I see a lot of this. I'm a this, I'm a that. And even when they do tell you how they're doing, it's pretty much facade, okay? Nobody is happy every day. Many people have things. They have a career and they have titles that they hide behind, okay? And, and I only say that, that they hide behind because why do the other person has to know about your title? You just want to know how they are doing. Oh, I'm a teacher now, you know. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's good. You, you, are you doing okay? Yeah, you know, I teach at so-and-so university, you know, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm a nurse now, you know, and, you know, and I, I'm at so-so-so-so hospital. Yeah, I'm a so-called... Uh, supervisor or you know uh, um, I uh, manage people you know I'm, I'm this I'm that I'm this I'm that how are you doing
one time I had went to the dentist and the spirit already let me know what the lady was going to say to me. But I still wanted to see for myself. We were in the back and she was, did I say the dentist? I meant I was getting my eyes checked. I apologize. I'm getting confused here. Let me get focused. Not the dentist, but I was getting my eyes checked, okay? And while she was checking my eyes, I said to myself, this is my time to see what I'm picking up on about this doctor. Is she's going to respond the way I know she's going to respond. When she was done checking my eyes, right, and she turned her back, and she was looking at some paperwork, writing things down, getting ready to, you know, let me know about my uh, prescription, okay, the, the uh, medicine that I need on my glasses. I say, um, thank you so much, ma'am. I really appreciate it. She turned around, and she said, excuse me? I said, thank you so much, ma'am. I said, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, you know. She said, um, you mean thank you, doctor. I said, yeah, doctor. Thank you, ma'am. To me, I wasn't disrespecting her, but that title, that title, there was something about that title. I guess she didn't want the school, don't work hard, and, you know, she wanted me to acknowledge the title. But had I met her on the street, and she not had that that so-called um, doctor attire on, okay? I would have said, thank you, ma'am. I guess that would have been okay, but behind the scenes is doctor. Thank you, doctor. Family, what happens to us when we put title before our happiness what happens to us when we put title before our happiness now you may say well what does one have to do with the other it has a lot to do with it so many of us are so consumed with the title more than our happiness <clears throat> many of us feel some type of way about ourselves and want to go to school to better ourselves and there's nothing wrong with that. But we hide behind the titles, the titles once we graduate. Okay, when we get that certification or that degree, you know, you want to be acknowledged by the title. Hell, a person can't even say your name anymore just because you have that doctor in the front of your name. You want to be acknowledged as doctor so-and-so. Why can't I call you by your name? And even out of respect, why can't I say yes, sir, or yes, ma'am? That's respectful. Why do I have to say the title? And don't get me wrong, I know it's a time for everything. I know this. It's a time for everything, you know. You know, how do they say, oh, give people their respect, you know. But many people wants to be acknowledged by their title. And many people who like to be acknowledged by their title, they're not happy. They're not happy. Many people have these titles as far as what it can do for them. You know, financially, you know, their money increase, yes, but are they happy? They can get these so-called perks and favors due to having that title, but are they happy? When does putting your happiness before a title? Mean more than just your happiness. Many people have titles due to the career that they have chosen and they're not happy. Financially, yes, they have security. Many of them staying in bigger houses. 
fancy cars, nice neighborhood. But many of them are not happy. And when they step outside of their homes or their nice neighborhoods and they're out and about, they want to be acknowledged by the title. You can't even say how you're doing because they want to make sure they put that title out there. Oh, I'm doing fine. You know, I'm a doctor now. Oh, that's good. That's good. But, um, okay, but other than that, how you doing? Let like me say you're doing fine. You know, everything good with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's everything's real good and stuff. You know, I had to go check on my patients and all of that. You know, see, all that's related to your title. Oh yeah, you know, I do makeup for the celebrities. Oh okay, well that's wonderful. That's wonderful. But other than that, how, how you doing? Oh yeah, I do hair for the celebrities now, girl. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. But how are you doing? Are you okay? I see all, all of this because it was a time I got caught up in titles. And I was never forthcoming as far as how I was really feeling or how I was really doing. Hey, Corinne, girl, how you doing? Back in the day. Back in the day. Girl, I was at the hospital. I'm doing just fine. Oh, okay. And also, you know, I would, you know, speak about, you know, the background of what I did back then. You know, hyping it up even more. Like that would validate me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very sad, isn't it? But on the inside, I was feeling quite burnt out. On the inside, I did have, not have knowledge of self. I'm not talking about the title. I did not have knowledge of self, okay? On the inside... I was feeling some type of way. I felt a little lost and I was at a crossroad in my life, but I wouldn't tell them that. Oh no, I'm blessed and highly favored. Yeah, that's what they want to hear. That's what I'm going to tell them. And don't get me wrong, it's nothing wrong with speaking those things that be not as though they were, okay? The, the word tell us that, okay? I tell many of you, keep speaking life over yourself, okay? But when somebody asks you how you're doing, they're not, they don't care about your title. You want to know how you're doing. And it's okay if you're private and, you know, you're going through some things. You don't want people in your business. You know, I get it. Okay? Because some people will take what you're saying and they will run with it and tell everybody. But, of course, you have to know who to talk to. Okay? Who you can trust. I get that. Okay? But to hide behind titles is very sad. Why should your title define you? That's not who you really are. That we hide behind the material. If it's not materials, we hide behind titles. And it's more to us than just our titles. Worldly, worldly titles is more to us than just that. I'm at the place in my life, I'm just being. And you know it's a hard thing to do, to just be. Be still, just be. But when you say just be for you, what does that mean to you? Even if you don't want to, for anybody to be in your business, and I guess that, I'm not telling you to be bluntly honest and put your business on Fifth Street, no. But you can say, if somebody say, how you doing? You could, you, you could just say, Oh, I'm just being. Of course, you're, they're going to be a little puzzled. You're just being. Yeah, 
I'm just being. I'm just being. Still. Enjoying life. Being present. To me, that is as honest as you can get. Many of us are so distracted that for us to tell someone we're just being still, being present, is very foreign to many people. Hell, that would be foreign to me back in the day. Because back then, I was so distracted, and there's a lot of clutter going on in my head, and also I've had it behind a title. So being distracted, period, you're not being still. You're not being. Be still. And know that I am God, God within you. You need no outside title to define you. Just be. Just be present. Now, somebody asked me, Corinne, I ain't seen a long time. How you doing, girl? I would say, oh, I'm just being. And if they want me to define it even more, I would say, oh, I'm just being present. Doing the things that I love to do that makes me happy. I'm being present. Because that's where we are right now. We're in the present. I'm being present and I'm focusing on doing the things that makes me happy. Notice I did not put no title there. I did not add no title. Even though if I was happy, I can keep them guessing. But at the end of the day, I was being really honest. I'm just being, being present. And I'm focusing on doing the things that makes me happy. I, did, I didn't add any kind of materialistic objects to the conversation. I did not put a title there. No, I'm being, I'm, I'm being present with you. I'm being present. And I'm focusing on the things that makes me happy. That's how I'm doing So how are you doing? And of course, you can imagine if they're not speaking on what's going on with them as far as adding the titles and the materialistic accumulation of things that they have obtained. Trust me, what came out of your mouth gonna be the same thing, gonna be the same thing that's gonna come out of their mouth. And of course, the way you're talking is going to sound very foreign to them. Okay? Because it's not easy to just be. Because we're so distracted. And a lot of us like a lot of stimulation in our life. Okay? It's hard for us to be still. Even when we're unhappy. We don't think about, how about we get our mind focused on the things that does make us happy. Stop worrying about the problem and Get your thoughts back on you and be, be still, be present and focus on the things that makes you happy. Many of you have gifts, focus on your gifts. Many of you are very talented. Many of you, there are many things that you can do, okay, that you're passionate about that you can be doing that makes you happy. I don't care if you like knitting. If it makes you happy, just be still. Be present and do what makes you happy. That's priceless, family. It's very priceless. But of course, when we get so distracted, looking outside of ourselves, looking at others, wanting outside approval of how the outside thinks about us or you, yeah, that's where you 
push yourself back and you put the title. You're not being transparent. You're not being authentic. And it's very sad when we have to have titles to define who we are. How about we just be? Be present. Sit in those emotions, how you're feeling. Okay? Instead of putting a band-aid on it, just sit. You're feeling some type of way, you're feeling some type of way. Sit in that energy or that emotion that you're feeling. Try to work on yourself. Practicing healing and release. Practicing healing and release. Even forgiveness if it takes that. It's a process, family. If it ain't one thing, it's another. It's a process. But just be. Don't look for no outside stimul stimulants, okay? To, uh, for you to feel numb and to put a band-aid on what's going on with you. Because, see, every day is not a sunny day. It can be sunny for you. Especially when you think about the things that you love to do. Now, is it a distraction? Yes, it is a distraction, but it makes you happy, doesn't it? And it's a healthy distraction. You're focusing on you, and you're doing the things that you love to do. And when you encounter people that you know got it going on as far as their background, their title, their financial status, yeah. But they're not going to say the things that you're going to say. And actually, they're not going to be able to comprehend the things that's going to come out of your mouth. I see, it's going to really make them question what's really going on with you, okay? But that's okay. Let them sit there wondering. It's none of their business really what's going on with you. So I tell you, family, how are you? I'm going to tell you how I am without you knowing whether I'm happy or not. Whether you know whether I have it going on or not. I'm present. I am present. And I'm focusing on doing the things that I love to do that makes me happy. Because I don't need no title to define me. The same God that's in you is the same God that's in me. And he's working through me wonderfully, just like he's working through you. It's a process for both of, for both of us. But I know there's growth here because I am that I am. And that that I am needs no title. And I'm okay with that. And I'm good enough. And I am, like you, I'm blessed. But I'm also present. Just sit back and observe people, family. If they come out of my mouth, you are sitting people. Many people are so unhappy. They had to put a band-aid on facing themselves. It's okay if you're not really where you want to be right now, okay? But as long as you have breath in your body, there's always hope and it's always another day. But while you are continuously breathing, just be still. Just be. Whatever that means to you. And most importantly, Instead of looking outside of yourself, come back and be present. Focus on you and focus on what makes you happy. That's what's going to get you through in life. Not looking outside of yourself. Seeking outside validation. How about you validate yourself? How about you focus on yourself? Do what makes you happy. Offering your passion, your gifts, you name it. 
leave the title where it needs to be. Just a title. You don't need it to define you. Define yourself. Define yourself and find yourself. And love yourself. Just be present. Just be focusing on the things that make you happy. That alone lets me know you're doing just fine.